Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I've been sick the last week so I've been basically dying and so if you hear my voice being weird that's why but I am finally back and I've just been taking requests. We're just doing all the reactions right now. Um, I am doing a reaction right now to Arijit Singh live at Gima Awards 2017. So I've heard his voice one time because I did one video and you guys really liked that video and I really enjoyed it. So today we are going to continue the series and watch another video of his. So let's get on with it. Also, if you want to support me, feel free to check out my Sweet Water links in the description below. They are a music distributor, so if you ever need anything musical, feel free to look down there. I have all my recording gear as well, so yes, we could continue. <laughs> Yes, I love already that jazzy intro. I feel like he's playing more um, different. He's playing an electric guitar this song compared to the last song where it was acoustic. So I feel like that already just makes like his tech playing technique different. And I really like to see this side of him because it's not just chords. It was like actually very melodic. So. <laughs> Oh, that little like run, like you're just kind of going up the scale, running up the scale a little bit. That was fire. I love like when you do that kind of stepping motion because it really builds and um, it always sounds really pleasing to the ear. But he's like has such a good tone, very clean, like very very smooth and I really enjoy his voice and it makes sense to me why he's so famous because his voice is just it just gives you a good feeling of peace when you listen to it I don't know what it is we will continue so good there we have it again. Da, 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 da. There we have that whole like step motion build. We even have a trumpet in there. Oh my gosh, this performance is so interesting. There's so much going on. I really appreciate it. Um, and it's so chill. Like, I love that so much. Like, I love a chill performance like this. It's just so peaceful and nice. Like, I totally understand. So we'll continue. <laughs> Even those notes, like it, it, the background, the background track is really like helping the drag them out a little bit more. Like when he's like da 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 da, you can hear the the trumpet in the background is also playing like the same note, so it kind of swells more. So it's giving more of a grander effect. Like if you hear like the parts where he doesn't have like that back track connected with his notes, like it definitely causes these to stand out more and feel stronger. It makes it sound a lot fuller. Like you just listen to it. Oh my 
gosh, the way that his voice like broke a little bit too. I love when your people's when vocalists voice like break, but it sounds so good. Like, I don't know how to explain. Like it wasn't like he broke because he couldn't sustain the note. It just kind of like a tasteful break to the note that kind of ends the note as well as just kind of gives like more emotion. I don't know how to explain, but that was really incredible. I really like this whole thing. This is such a chill vibe, but there's just so but there's also so much going on in the background musically, even though it's so chill. Like you hear like little piano sections. Like I just really like how I'm hearing a lot of different elements of the backing track, just like all the musicians in the back. I really like that and I think it's really adding to the environment and the atmosphere. And his voice is just so clear. Like I don't understand. Like, it's just so be it's so effortless, so clear, so nice. Like I really am enjoying listening to it. And then I feel like this part, like it really shows like the range and all that but also just kind of shows more emotion and I love how it built in that moment and then like kind of broke at the end like I love a good break at the top like at the very top a little bit I really love this electric guitar part in the background too. Like I hate to pause, but like I have to pause because of copyright. I'm really sorry guys, but I love like this part in the background, like the electric guitar, like it's really sticking out to me. I feel like his voice is just so effortless and nice that it kind of allows you to also listen for the music in the background because it just all blends together very seamlessly. So I've been able to hear a lot in the back that I feel like might, if, if he was like more like overpowering the backing tracks and the musicians, like I feel like it would have gotten lost, but I feel like everything blends together very seamlessly and I really like this track. It feels like I'm listening to just like a serene, beautiful location. I feel like I should be seeing like the top wonderful beautiful places in the world like kind of just like a waterfall and just beautiful forest like I feel like that he just kind of gives that sense of serene safety and I am I can feel like I can visualize it very well and I just really like this whole this whole relationship between the musicians and the singer in this case <laughs> A vibe shift is this also a medley i know you guys said like the last time that was um also i just like i get such a dream like energy i just want to close my eyes and just like be sent to another dimension and just see like some beautiful spot beautiful yeah, sights great thank you so much ambulances save your people do your thing it's just so dreamy oh they really chose such good they really chose like a great stage as well like all the colors in the sprinkling down lights like it's so nice also i feel this vibe shift right now and i'm excited to see where it brings us but dream like amazing this man i totally get it guys <laughs> I'm 
This track is magic like this part i feel like nothing crazy happened but it just sounds so nice and i feel like the sound designers for this audio like kind of are also killing it by letting every instrument have its own space like you hear the guitar like acoustic like the the more the melodic part you hear like the chords that that one man is strumming you hear like the more melodic part that's like kind of going back and forth on the electric like we're hearing the piano like i just really appreciate the blend of this entire track like they are killing the game and this part just sounds so beautiful like oh it sounds so good like that whole part uh so good i i don't know i feel like sometimes when you hear i don't know if this is how you guys feel but there's you know how you listen to songs and then sometimes you have to timestamp stuff because it just sounds so pleasing to the ear like sonically like there's certain notes selections that just sound so good like i feel like that was just one of them this whole section has just been like very nice i love it Yeah, so I feel like this completely, like the technique completely shifted because I feel like we've had very smooth singing so far, but this kind of gives like a little bit of shakier. Like it's kind of shakier because of just like the vibrato, etc. And I feel like he's just accenting different parts of his, um, different parts of the vocal line. Like it's like instead of like super smooth and connected, we're kind of giving, it's giving a little more like texture. And I definitely hear that. Like we are kind of shifting into a different technique that we haven't seen before in this performance. <laughs> Okay, I feel like we have to go back and like relive that. That was wild. I loved that. Like even like I love the break at the top, like the the belt, the mix, the mix between his head voice and his chest voice. So good. Like I feel like I need to re-listen to that. But that felt like that hit. That hit. Especially I love the background um, guitar part. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Iris by the Google Dolls. I don't really know why, but it kind of that's what it sounds like to me just kind of the that electric guitar part and it pairs so well with his mo voice in this moment and it just I, I'm like bro why am I tearing up this is too much <laughs> like 
Yeah, there's like a shift from like chest to more mixed head voice. Like, oh gosh, crazy. This part, like, honestly, is. Obviously that part like is more powerful, more in the chest, but he when he goes into that like ah, ah, it's more like in the mix head chest mix, but it's like more heavy on the head voice. So oh my gosh, I can't. <laughs> Oh. Guys, I don't know how y'all this is so this is so nice um, Also the percussion when it came in that hit so hard after we just like had like a mini breakdown Which is his voice and like that really pretty guitar part like it hit so much harder when the percussion came in like I am Obsessed, so let's continue <laughs> Like, he really has, like, these long medleys. Like, I'm not complaining, but I feel like I'm so used to, like, three-minute songs that it just keeps going. We keep on hearing this sonic, worldly experience. But, yeah, I don't really have anything to say specific about that session. Section, I know you guys are probably sick of me pausing every five seconds, but we'll continue. <laughs> Loving the shades inside, I feel like that has to be someone important. Are we doing another breakdown right now? Guys, I don't know if I can handle. Oh my gosh, I can't sing at all, guys, but 
loved that little run out of that phrase. Um, I don't think the phrase is over. But one thing I would love to say, I don't know what effects are in this man's voice. Like, is this his voice a completely un unaffected at all? Crazy. One thing that really shows you the quality of the singer is how they sound when there's very minimal music and instruments behind them. And he, at this point, is like completely stripped just down to the acoustic guitar in the back and his guitar that he's playing right now. And he sounds just as effortless and dreamy as he did in the other parts, which just shows that it's not just the music behind him. It's obviously him bringing that talent and energy and that skill. But it's something that you definitely notice when there's like, when all the other instruments drop out, like you really hear even more the tone and the talent of the singer and like a lot can bleed through like if you're not as good like it can like show more if you're just if it's just you and the piano or you and the guitar but with this man he still shines regardless of how much is behind him what is playing behind him and I feel like it just shows how great of a singer he is and I do value and appreciate that as one singer to another I see you are just sing Girly, I Oh, the upwards flutter run we love that I feel like I use all these phrases that just kind of you get what I'm saying but like they're not really like technical but are we here for the super super technical analysis I don't think so we're just here to try to put what we're hearing into words and explain it as from one vocalist to another Stop, this is too good. I need to go back to this part. That note was so clear. Thank you so much. There was such a sudden, sudden end. Oh my gosh. When they're like, thank you so much. And then, da -da -da -da. I feel like I didn't, I feel like I had a lot to say actually in this video. And I try not to be super annoying about like pausing every 10 seconds, but because of copyright, I do have to do that. And I just had a lot that I was experiencing, a lot that I enjoyed. And I just wanted to kind of share that as we were going through. So yeah, let me know if I should react to more Arjit Singh. I feel like, let me just try to summarize like my main thought. I just think he's really, I really liked this video for numerous reasons. And one of them was definitely, I, I really liked, first off, just how it sounded. Not just including him, including the whole band. I think it sounded so beautiful and I really enjoyed like my whole time listening to it. And then I think he's also an incredible singer. Like he has definitely moments a lot of moments of just power and vulnerability and just like insane he's so dreamy and just I his voice is so hypnotic and I totally understand why so many people really resonate with it because I don't know it's just also him like he's just definitely with the smile and the charisma like you definitely it definitely comes across when you watch these videos and when you listen to him that he has that charisma and he has that you know, I don't know, like, I just feel like I'm in a safe place listening to him, and I think he is able to create that environment very well through his vocals and just through how he presents himself as well, like, it's definitely both, because he just looks so warm and inviting, and it definitely, 
I think makes him more likable, not just for his voice, but like for his whole overall energy. And I do appreciate that. And I think along with that, he obviously has a great voice and I do enjoy when I get to listen to him. And I think that there's just parts, parts of this that had me a little bit shook and a little bit emotional. So yeah, let me know if I should react to more. I'm sorry if I paused too often. I'm sorry if my thoughts weren't super clear, but I just wanted to kind of bring you along on the journey as I listened to that and kind of give my, my feedback and my thoughts. So yeah, feel free to subscribe, ring the bell and all that. Let me know what else I should react to. And I will see you guys in the next video. Feel free to also use my sweet water, sweet water links below. I will love you forever if you do that. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.